There's been a lot of talk recently about cash bail, so I want to just have a conversation about it. Between conversations about the purge in Illinois to the bail reform conversations here in New York, there's a lot of misinformation out there. I'm Eliza Orleans, and I am a career public defender here in Manhattan for the last 13 years. So here in New York, bail is supposed to be only to ensure someone's return to court and not, in fact, because of their dangerousness or any other factor just to ensure that the person returns to court. What it's not supposed to be is a penalty on those who can't afford to buy their freedom because we are innocent until proven guilty in this country. And so the idea that someone should not be able to be free and actually get that presumption of innocence just because they don't have money is absolutely outrageous. As a public defender, I've represented people who couldn't afford to pay bail, even a nominal amount of bail, even a few hundred dollars, and it has cost them their jobs, their homes, their livelihoods. It has forced them to sit at Rikers Island, which is an absolute hellhole. Um, and basically it's coerced guilty pleas. They've decided to plead guilty just to get out of jail, even if it was a case worth fighting. That is not justice. That is not the way a justice system should work. Whereas people who can afford to pay bail, someone like Harvey Weinstein, who never spent a night in jail until after he was convicted post-trial by a unanimous jury of 12 people, he got to fight his case at liberty. And people who are at liberty have better outcomes on their cases. They just simply do. Furthermore, now there are actual studies, there's data, and that data shows that when people are at liberty rather than held in jail, it actually improves outcomes for everyone. It makes places safer because it makes it less likely that person reoffends and more likely that they're integrated into society. They don't lose their jobs, their homes, everything, their family, their children to foster care, etc. So for everyone who is fear mongering around bail reform, in fact, it keeps us safe. We don't want people locked up who are presumed innocent. We want them to have better outcomes. We want them to be productive members of society. This is a racist and oppressive tool that discriminates against people and especially hurts people who are poor. There are no states that don't allow for pretrial detention. Illinois included, this new law included, and New York, everywhere allows for pretrial detention on certain cases. So the idea that everyone's gonna be free is just bullshit. Don't fall for the propaganda and follow and like for more. Leave questions in the comments and thanks for being here.